I've been sent in this incredible Helix jacket from Rohan. They sent it to me for free, two tests, so I thought I'd do this video to show you my initial thoughts. Also, do stick around to the end of this video for a 25% discount code. This video is definitely not sponsored. Let's go. Hello, Russ here, bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. If that is your thing, then do hit that subscribe button below for more content every week. Rohan sent me the Helix jacket for free about two or three weeks ago, and I've been wearing it almost every day ever since, uh, especially when it's been raining. Uh, but at £275, that is a pretty hefty price tag. So uh, this video is to give you my initial thoughts and ask the question, is it actually worth that price tag? It has got some incredible features and materials, but first, let's go over some of the specs. The Helix jacket weighs in at 367 grams on their website and on the scale it is this. The packable size is 1075 mil. The materials are made of 100% polyester. The hydrostatic head is 20,000 millimeters. If you don't understand what hydrostatic head is I have got a video up here in this little link uh, explaining everything about hydrostatic head and waterproofing. Basically the material that this is made of is a very similar, if not exactly the same, waterproof rating as Dyneema composite fabrics. The Helix jacket is made of two trademark materials and they are the three layer barricade uh, knit technology and the durable water repellency which is also trademarked. I think these are trademarked by Rohan but there's some technology in there that makes this material a lot more waterproof than your standard other polyester jackets out there. It has YKK AquaGuard zips which are quite stiff to pull but I haven't had any issues as of yet with getting it snagged on the inside of the jacket pretty much like my Patagonia Torrent Shell rain jacket. It has a fixed adjustable hood with a wire peak which folds away and it's adjustable around the crown of your head so it really stitches in. It's a really comfortable hood to wear. It has one internal zippy pocket which is uh, located just here on the left breast pocket and it's also packed, doubling up as the pack pocket as well which is another trademarked bit of tech on this jacket. It has two external zip pockets on each side which are both large enough to fit a huge phone like my iPhone 11 Pro Max and also I think you could probably fit some OS and Harvey's maps in there as well. A really cool little feature which I don't think they actually mentioned on their website is on the right hand side pocket on the outside side that's got a little uh, mini pocket inside I think for a stack like you can actually put your phone in there quite comfortably uh, and it sits there and doesn't jangle around with everything else and it just makes it the first thing for you to pull out uh, it's ready to go it's got a dropped rear hem so it just makes sure that your tushy does not get soaked as it's raining it has a fully adjustable set of cuffs and the hem is fully adjustable as well uh, so it just allows you to bring it in make it more waterproof and make it more windproof. And the last little feature which I quite like is on the back on the inside, just above the little hook loop that's above there, it's got an extra loop so that you can tie that around the hood when it's stowed away and it just stops it from flapping around in the wind. I just thought that was a really, really nice touch. For £275, I believe you're definitely getting what you pay for. The stitching on this thing is pretty much perfect. I have checked every seam and every stitch on this thing and it's so well machined it's amazing it's really well done they must have some serious uh, sewers out there <laughs> like it's incredible what they've done um, actually on the inside the way that all of the different patches of material of the pattern are all very beautifully stitched it's very neat and tidy they're very beautifully cut very it's like they've been cut with uh, a laser cutter or something it's very very well done this jacket also looks really good when you're wearing it it's incredibly bright i call it wtf orange uh, it's very good because it's visible when you're out and about in the hills and if you need to be helped then you've definitely got a really nice bright bit of clothing on there they do do it in a black version but i've decided uh, to go for the WTF orange. Uh, it's very good indeed. The materials themselves feel really silky. It's kind of stretchy as well. Um, it feels very soft. It's very comfortable to wear because the materials are so soft and stretchy. Because this jacket is stretchy, I wonder if the stretchiness will degrade over time. If you've been wearing this jacket for a few years and it's been in sub-zero temperatures and really hot temperatures, been out in the sun, been rained on, hailed on, maybe the abrasion rate is kind of starting to go down because it's stretchy. And will the waterproof properties of this material, because it's stretchy, degrade faster? 
That's a question that I really would like to find out. I haven't actually had this jacket out long enough to build up enough sweat uh, on a hike uh, due to the whole COVID virus and everything since coming back from the USA I got sent this jacket and I've just been wearing it out and about on my normal kind of daily walks and to be honest as far as I've seen it seems really breathable but with any waterproof shell the chances are that if you're sweating profusely and you're wearing this and you're walking up and downhill uh, then you're going to get some condensation on the inside of this jacket. This kind of issue just goes with the territory with any kind of waterproof shell. It says it's ultra breathable but again uh, in further tests when I get it out into the mountains and do some overnight hiking when this COVID-19 <laughs> business is all over. As far as I can tell compared to say my Frog Togs rain jacket and my Torrent Shell from Patagonia this thing's gonna hold up a lot better. Just You can just feel that it's a more breathable jacket. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a plastic bag. So so far it's held up very well uh, but we'll see in the future when I do further testing. I'm a 37 inch chest with an 18 inch torso so I went with a small. I actually asked Rohan to guide me on some sizing because I'm right at the top end of the small bracket and right at the bottom of the medium bracket in terms of my chest and torso size so I thought it'd be a good idea to just ask them and they said definitely go with a small it will fit you very well and it does uh, I would say it's a very very comfortable jacket as I said with the materials before uh, the arm length is a little too long on me it is a little bit baggy as you can see having a little bit of flex in the arms is a very good thing to do for an active layer especially if it's a waterproof shell so it's going to definitely aid you in keeping you dry uh, if the arms are too short and you've got another layer underneath and it's poking out then whatever layer like your fleece mid layer is going to get a little bit soaked underneath uh, so it's good to have a little bit of give in the arm but for me personally and my body fit just maybe taking about an inch off the length of the arm would have really helped the good thing about this hood is that it really wraps around the face as well so you can do it right up and you can pull the cord in at the back and you can see that it's taken all the way around the crown of my head <laughs> and a really cool feature is that this wired it's really important actually that this cap or peak on the hood is wired so you can bend it and shape it and uh, you can fit it to the contours of your head which keeps the rain or the sun or the wind off your eyes a little bit more but a really cool feature about this one is that it can tuck away they've designed it in a way that you can just tuck it underneath and actually if you look really closely it doesn't actually look like it's got one at all then you can surprise your mates and be like hey i've got a peak as well it's like a little hidden feature i like that it's a really cool hood i really like the patagonia micro puff hoodie i like it when the hood comes right around the front of your face and just leaves um, the important parts of your face uh, out in the open i don't like it when a hood is too big and really flappy what you want is something that's going to really cinch in to the side of your face keep all the wind and the wet off of the skin around your face and uh, if you've got like a, a micro puff hoodie or something underneath you've got that insulating layer that also wraps around it's just a really good system to have in some driving windy weather okay from what i've seen already with the rohan helix jacket this thing is incredibly waterproof the way that the material is woven on the outside as well as the waterproof coating it's like a hydrophobic coating i ran this thing under the tap had it out in the rain and the water you could literally see the water bouncing off it it was incredible i've never worn a waterproof breathable shell uh, before that has that technology added to it most jackets that i've worn are a weave on the outside and then a coating on the inside making it waterproof to a degree but the water just soaks into the material uh, with the rohan helix jacket the water just beads off i was wearing my fuse jacket which i'll also have a review up uh, in the link here up in this corner as well very very soon but the fuse jacket is like a wadded insulated jacket underneath the helix jacket it was kept bone dry it's some pretty persistent rain while I was out over the last few weeks. So yeah, I think uh, the waterproofing is very good. Again, I really want to get this out in the field over a long period of time, let's say like a couple of weeks to about a month. I'll be taking this jacket out on the West Highland Way and the Cape Wrath Trail up in Scotland where I'm bound to get some serious rain at some point. If I don't, then that would be quite unlucky. I've never wanted to have it rain so, so much on a trail, but to test this jacket out, I really hope it does on 
the Cape Wrath so that I could really put this waterproof uh, breathable shell for its paces. So yeah, compare it to the Outdoor Research Helium, which I'm also gonna have a review up very, very soon. The Outdoor Research Helium actually has ripstop nylon on the outside and then a coating on the inside. Uh, basically what happens is the water seeps in through the nylon on the outside until it hits that coated barrier and then it kind of keeps soaking up the jacket, whereas with this, it just beads straight off. So you're basically, with the hydrophobic coating and the way this material is weaved, you're not actually technically, scientifically coming into contact with any water on your torso while wearing this jacket, which is incredible. How long that will last, I have no idea yet, but for 275 pounds, uh, I'd hope it lasts quite a while. This jacket, because it's uh, hydrophobic and extremely water propellant and waterproof, it dries incredibly fast. You probably wanna hang it up when you get indoors and give it a good shake uh, outside just before you step through your porch and hang it up, just so that all of the beaded water is off the surface. Uh, but yeah, it dries really fast. One last thing about the waterproofing that I wanna add is on their website, they have a wash and repel coating. Rohan, if you could let us know in the comments section just below, that would be handy. You could let us know uh, exactly what that's for. Is that to replace the coating that's on this jacket as and when it starts to degrade? That would be really helpful if you could let us know. Now for £275 for a waterproof breathable shell, that's a lot of money to invest in. It's probably one of the most expensive waterproof breathable shells that I've come across. I think the second most expensive one that I've worn was probably the Outdoor Research Helium. That was about 120 pounds. Something like 160 something dollars in REI when I was out there. In my opinion, you're definitely getting what you pay for. Again, I do need to test this a lot further, but just by looking at it and wearing it, wearing it for a few weeks in some rain, uh, going on some hikes with it. I would say you're definitely getting what you pay for. And as promised, yes, this is a hefty price tag. So I asked Rohan if they could give me a discount code for you guys to go and buy anything on the Rohan website, plug it into the payment gateway when you're requested and you will get 25% off any Rohan purchase. The discount code is MDB5, that's Mike Delta Bravo 5. And it's 25% off and it's valid until the 31st of the end of this month, 31st of May. Uh, so definitely go and check out all of their products on the Rohan website. You'll get 25% off your final basket price. Hopefully they've got the Rohan Helix back in stock uh, and it will give you a hefty amount off the price of this 275 pound jacket you are going to be spending quite a bit of money on investing in this jacket so it's going to be for someone who is out and about in pretty poor conditions in a lot of rain quite a lot of the time you're going to know that you're going to be walking out in the rain a lot you might be a through hiker but because of this price tag and because of the extra weight it's not as light as say your outdoor research heliums you might be deterred from taking this on a through hike but that said it's probably going to last a lot longer this jacket is definitely for you if you want one solution for a waterproof breathable shell that's going to last you you're going to have this thing out and about in lots of different conditions all the time it's definitely worth the investment so you're not going to be switching out to different things i'm in an ari this is a good all-round jacket if you're buying the rohan helix jacket just for the fact that it looks good and for the fact that it's expensive then you're just wasting your money and you're not actually going to be using this jacket for the full benefit that it offers you you may as well go for something a lot cheaper like some frog togs or on a little bit more of expensive scale you might as well go for an outdoor research helium which i've tested or a patagonia torrent shell they work fine but they're just not as high quality, they're not as breathable, and they're not as waterproof. So yeah, this jacket, uh, while it looks good uh, and it's expensive, that shouldn't be the reasons why you buy it. You should really check out what benefits uh, the materials and the waterproof and repellent properties of this material will offer. Uh, the breathability as well, as I've said, is very good. Um, and the fit and the comfort and everything. Uh, again, 275 pounds, pricey worth the money if you're going to use it. Okay, the next point that I want to talk about is just an overall recap of my initial thoughts of the Rohan Helix jacket. There are lighter and cheaper options out there other than the Rohan Helix jacket. So you might be a through hiker and want to go for something a lot lighter. But in my opinion, if you were to invest in this jacket and take it on a through hike and you're not too much of a grand weenie, uh, you will actually enjoy having this jacket on a through hike. Uh, I think I would have preferred this to my OR Helium 2. It's an outstanding piece of kit with really incredible quality, really good materials, really good stitching. 
uh, you're definitely getting what you pay for. The water repellency is incredible on this jacket, but I am really intrigued to find out exactly how long that will last. Uh, so yeah, that's probably one of my main questions that are looming after testing this jacket out. I will be using the Rohan Helix jacket as my primary shell from now on. Uh, I'm going to be taking it on the West Highland Way and the Cape Wrath, which I'll be connecting up from the uh, end point of the West Highland Way in Fort William. Uh, so that's going to give me about maybe three or four weeks of full proper testing in the Scottish Highlands. So that'll be very interesting. I will be putting a video up online about that with a full review from that experience uh, as soon as it's done. A massive special thanks to Rohan for sending in this jacket for me to test. Uh, it's not the cheapest, I think it's the, one of the most expensive items on their website so I really thank them for sending it in and allowing me to test it and make this review. I also have a review comparison of the Rohan Helix and the Outdoor Research Helium 2 uh, and as soon as that's up it will be up here in a little uh, card for you to click, so do go check that out. Okay, campfire question, which waterproof breathable shell are you using and why? Let the Trail Hunter community know in the comments section below, we would really love to hear from you. Okay, thank you so much for watching this review of the Rohan Helix jacket. Thumbs if you liked it, subbed if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one.